So ever since the Black Ops 6 reveal, surprisingly, the Call of Duty D-Riders are out in full swing, the Call of Duty haters are saying nice things about it, and I've even seen you, yeah you, also saying some pretty good things about the game, which is just unheard of, right? I never thought we are gonna see that day, but you see, today it's a different day. Yay, we're gonna talk about it because there's a whole lot of bait and switch going on right now. But apparently the news here, the good news here is that there is no skill-based matching in, in Black Ops 6. Is that true though? Because everybody's now looking like this. We're gonna get into the story here. I got a video that I wanna show show you guys here. Like this video if you do not want skill-based matching and EOMM in Call of Duty. Dislike the video if you love getting the BBC treatment by Activision. Roll it. Every single year, Activision finds a new way to get the players that hated the previous game to buy the new one without yeah. fail. Don't yeah, believe yeah, yeah. me? Watch this. Every single car that is released in the last six. Yeah, sick has always said they're not gonna buy, but they buy it. But but Modern Warfare 3. Three, I, I broke the cycle last year. I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, last year I broke the cycle, boys. What is that last Call of Duty game you bought? Let me Tears know has a bait and switch scheme, or rather, something that entices longtime players and then screws them because the game evidently is built to retain casuals and breed as much sales as possible, and it's not actually meant to satisfy longtime passionate players of the franchise. Bait and switch. Modern yep. Warfare 2019. The bait, the name, the fact that it's a reboot of a super iconic game, advertises the next generation of COD, the early access for pre-orders. The yeah. switch, the game is a casual catering machine, including the start of their new methodology to make as much money as possible in the next Next generation uh, of gaming. Yeah. EOMM. Terrible maps. Terrible meta. A absolutely. The maps, the campers, and the skill-based matchmaking was absolutely crazy, but I would still say the microtransactions in this game in comparison to what we're getting now wasn't that bad. Now, trust me, it was bad. Trust me, it was bad, but I'm saying in comparison to what we have now, I guess this is the same thing we're gonna say like five years from now, we're gonna say, yeah, bro, like that. You, you, you remember that $80 King Kong bundle? Wasn't that bad, because you know in the future we might even get like 300 1000 dollars microtransactions you never know claymores game just doesn't feel like cod it scares away Wait a lot of long time players because the game allowed bad players to camp in safe spaces and get the unbeatable edge then cold war comes along the bait it has the black ops name treyarch made it it can't possibly be like modern warfare 2019 right you get early access for the pre-order so people buy it the switch well still got eumm super sweaty matches extremely slow progression subpar mm. maps clearly things are in place to breed microtransactions <laughs> and protect casuals. The game doesn't feel genuine. I, I would say, no, nah, I, I hear you, brother, because Black Ops Cold War was really, really hype. I was shaking as well. I was creaming pants oh, as oh, well. And, and I was bricked up for Black Ops Cold War. I, I gotta agree, okay? I was bricked up when, when the game came out. Man, it wasn't that as good as what we hope for. But looking back at it, it's the, the last best Call of Duty game, man. It's the last best Call Wrong. of Duty game. You disagree? How dare you disagree? Really? You're gonna disagree like that? Come on, man. It wasn't that bad, bro. It was better than the most advanced Call of Duty game ever. You know that 3,000 deaths, three years situation with Modern Warfare 2022? Yeah, exactly. Win. All right, well, now it's Vanguard. The bait? Well, it's the same engine as Modern Warfare 2019, which was clearly one of their best. Has the World War II setting, which clearly baited people back to the game because it hadn't been in that era for a while. It had yeah. an early access test to anyone who pre-orders. Maybe this is uh -huh. a time when the Modern Warfare 2019 engine reaches its potential. And the Switch? It's the worst COD to date with bad matchmaking and just <laughs> as terrible maps and match flow as Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah, and it yeah. perpetuates the horrendously aggravating camping epidemic. What's after that? Oh yeah! Modern Warfare 2, the sequel to a game that had a lot of potential and popularity, especially because of the smoothness of the gunplay and movement. The bait? On the surface, it looks like it's gonna be what Modern Warfare 2019 was supposed to be, but never was. Advertised to be the next, next generation of COD. The $100 Vault Edition, which should have been a red flag on its own. It's the yeah. best-selling COD title because every- It was amazing, man. Of course, sarcasm intensifies here. It was beautiful. It was glorious. And it, 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 this is that game, you know what's coming oh man you know what's coming right now but this is that game that introduced the famous and the most beautiful and the baddest thing imaginable to mankind this is the mankind's greatest innovation ladies and gentlemen i present you
it introduces the friendly UAV online. Yep, this was the game. This was the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone thinks it's going to be what Modern Warfare 2019 should have been and save the franchise. No. The Switch, it's the ultimate casual catering machine, suffocated skill ceiling, no red dots in the minimap, horrible clunky movement, visual recoil, slow weapon handling, tactical slow paced gameplay, Santa Senya border crossing, need I say more? Either way, yeah. there's one cut. The only thing I liked about Modern Warfare 2022 was uh, the gameplay was a little bit faster than Modern Warfare 19. Yeah, that, that's the thing that I like. Other, other than that, yeah, we rated like what? uh five months for one map <laughs> these seconds actually gave us one new map after five months bro it was insane bruh and the call of duty d riders they were defending them they were actually defending them crazy bro a game that scared away longtime cod lovers it was modern warfare 2 it was absolute garbage and the worst game in the series now modern warfare 3 rolls around the bait well we changed everything you guys hated in modern warfare 2 movement is back weapons are fast again no annoying visual recoil classic remastered maps clearly we're desperate for sales here the switch well the worst matchmaking in any game ever 30 dollar bundles the increased skill ceiling barely matters because every match is so competitive it'll make your head spin and the game is literally a dlc marketed as a full title every single modern cod title has some kind of a bait and switch to draw longtime fans in only to disappoint them because the game is heavily built with greed and money making strategies yeah. and the game is meant to keep casuals playing so that they spend money the actual gameplay has no integrity okay let's cut to the chase we get it homie let's cut to the chase because apparently circus right now oh my bad uh, this is not the vibe yeah we vibing right now this is the vibe here yay apparently circus are now saying that this game is gonna have no skill Based mastery instead only prime pete the guy who, who, who we're watching this video from yeah. <laughs> but no the news generally uh the news in general is saying that we're gonna have less skill based mastery and that activision is, is exploring the route of lowering skill based mastery in which i mean listen guys we're talking activision here dog uh, we, we do not know whether that's true or not the reason they're thinking about exploring the possibility is because of x defined x defined got no skill based mastery and, and and yeah that game is succeeding at least for now and i really hope that game succeeds for a long time to come whether you love that game or you hate that game or you find that game mid hey whatever that's not even the topic of this video but point here is that if x define succeeds it's good for call of duty fans or call of duty haters everybody right because if you like x define guess what you got more alternatives or i guess call of duty killer which is not let's be real it's not a call of duty killer but at least you have another option and we got another fps game because the fps scene is really dry the next battleful game is not coming out anytime soon gta 6 might as well get delayed to 2026 hopefully not they're saying fall 2025 but who am i kidding their, their, their track record speaks for for itself and call of duty not doing too hot but however black ops right now black ops 6 is looking good but don't all reveals look good right exactly my point they spend the most amount of money on marketing and not on the game at least that's how it feels like G genuinely speaking they do spend money on their games as well it's not like they don't but it feels like that they put more money in the bbc bundles in the microtransactions and in the in the marketing right and all that it, that's how it really really feels like and and this is why my non-existing dog always loves to bite people. But this time we're hearing they're gonna lower skill based matchmaking. I wanna see that. But you see, if you are happy about no or low skill based matchmaking, guess what? We still have EUMM. And the EUMM by the looks of it is not going anywhere. Those of you that do not know, EUMM simply put is engagement based matchmaking which goal is to get you in the shop and spend the most amount of money possible agree everything is rigged and x defiant now is succeeding in capitalizing on the fact that people are aware of it and they hate it so now cod has no choice if they bait now they can't switch or else the franchise fails to take in longtime fans who switch to x defiant if cod plays their cards right and just doesn't toss the ultra casual players who yeah he's allegedly uh, not allegedly he's literally talking about the, the idea of no skill based matching in call of duty or low because that's the news he hasn't said that so far but 
Yeah, like, he's probably gonna get to that point. Can't walk and chew gum at the same time into sweat lobbies, but still tone down the matchmaking, it's going to give X yeah, Defiant a run for its money. Remember when I said that COD was scared of X Defiant and how they clearly rushed to put out the Black Ops 6 teaser one day after X Defiant's release, along with changing the IP from Black Ops Gulf War, which basically leaked everywhere confirming it, to Black Ops 6 in an obvious attempt to nostalgia bait? Well, it doesn't stop there. Apparently, there are rumors going around that suggest that perhaps this isn't the only thing Call of Duty is doing to compete with X Defiant. Besides changing the working title of the next COD game from Gulf War, which is what it was going to be called, and it's where the game is set, to yep. Black Ops 6, even though technically there was no Black Ops 5, even though it was Cold War, I guess, yeah, Call of yeah. Duty might actually- uh, now, uh, Honestly, I don't care about the name as long as the game is good, but let's be real, Black Ops 6 is much easier for the normies than it would be- it, it, then if they were to call it Black Ops Gulf War, right? Then they would confuse like Black Ops Cold War, Gulf War with the normies, right? The norm For the normies, it's much better if it's a number, right? For Black Ops 6, yeah, sounds better. And Nostalgia Bit, absolutely. But I don't even care none about that. I feel like that the name is, is yeah, they can call it Black Ops My Balls, uh, Modern Balls, or whatever garbage. Like, I, listen, I don't care about the name. Most people don't. But here's the, here's the fact though. If they call it Black Ops or Modern Warfare, it's just gonna sell better because we're familiar with it that that's the simple and honest truth they can call it that but for the love of god make it good man like this is it bro this is i, I feel like that generally speaking i know people and sick say this all the time but i feel like this time it is i guess somewhat true that this might be the last time a lot of people not everybody but a lot of people would give it one last chance if black ops 6 turns out to be bad i think that's it I think, yeah, still, people are gonna say, well, Call of Duty 2025 will save us. For sure, we're always gonna have that. And, and uh, yeah, the reveals are always gonna be pumping. People are gonna get creamed. People are gonna be bricked up with the reveals and all that. But I genuinely feel like that this is, like, the, the, the last time. Especially for the folks that have been playing Call of Duty for years and years, right? Like, for any, any of you out there that have been playing Call of Duty for a decade plus, raise your hand if you have been playing Call of Duty for a decade plus. Yeah, I, I'm one of them, so patience is running out, but somebody that, if you're somebody watching this video that started in the last three years, five years, oh yeah, you're probably still fresh on the idea, you're probably still bricked up, and uh, yeah, it's just the older folks like us, uh, whose testosterone levels are probably going down <laughs> in terms of Call of Duty, okay? Not literally, I'm full of testosterone right now, most people are full of testosterone uh, watching this video, okay? But simply put, that's uh, how uh, generally the normies are feeling, uh, or I should say the hardcore fans decked plus holders are feeling right now be going one step further in their move to compete with their newest competition. Actually, to be fair, their only decent competition in basically the entire lifespan of the franchise. No other game has been quite so similar to COD and as big as X Defiant. Call facts, of Duty is rumored facts. to be toning down their skill-based matchmaking, or in yeah. other words, toning down the skill measurement within their whole EOMM algorithm. Now here's the thing, the reasons for them switching up the name to Black Ops 6 and perhaps changing how the matchmaking works are pretty reasonable, as the market changes and customers show what they support you certainly have to adjust your practices to align with what the consumers are looking for. In the case of COD, more and more consumers are starting to wake up about COD's clearly manipulative matchmaking algorithm yeah. and how far the game's practices have fallen to greed. In my observation, a lot of diehard COD players are clearly unsatisfied with the game. Seasoned yeah, professionals, like YouTubers are outspoken, guys who have been playing the franchise for years. It even goes as far as the fact that every single COD veteran who comments on my channel has agreed with me. I haven't ever had a single veteran player who who's a longtime fan of the series, who has seen the franchise in all of its glory, disagree with one of my takes. So the question for Activision becomes, how are they going to win over the disgruntled and aggravated longtime fans who had a point of reference? Damn, my man be sucking his own BBC right now, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nah, look, look, okay, banter aside. Nah, I, I feel you, I feel you, brother. But, but let's be real. People can never be on the same page. People are never gonna be on the same page either. Because, yeah, a lot of you, I do agree, a lot of people would be against the idea of skill-based matchmaking and UMM. Objectively speaking, guys, like, okay, some people would say, oh, yeah, SBMM. Uh, ever since uh, Extra Fine is out, a lot of people have been asking for skill-based matchmaking, like, what? How does that even work, right? So the idea of, hey, nobody disagrees with my take, nah, it's not true. People 
gonna disagree. People are gonna disagree with everything. People are gonna agree with stuff. People are gonna disagree with stuff. Point here is that generally, I guess you can say most people agree that skill based matchmaking gotta go, especially EOMM. Right now, I feel like that the shift is on EOMM because EOMM goal is to get you to spend money in the in the shop and buy the BBC bundles and all the bundles, the King Kong bundles, the hundred dollar skins and all that crap, the thirty dollar black cells uh, and all the the battle passes, this and that, right? Exactly. Exactly. So that's the goal of EOMM. Generally speaking, most people are against it. And, and uh, objectively speaking, this isn't even an opinion. I feel like that everybody should objectively disagree with EOMM. Skill based matchmaking, okay. You know, some people are really, really bad at the game, so they need SBMM. But I, I beg to differ. I beg to say that if you're doing poorly in game just play a couple of games you're gonna learn you're gonna adapt you're gonna get better and once you're better then ultimately sometimes you're gonna have good games and sometimes you're gonna have bad games just like how with skill based match but with skill based match again you're it's always gonna stay like that you're gonna have that flat line right because it knows how many kids you're gonna have it knows your iq levels as Bruh. well it, it knows like your frequency it, it knows how dumb you are or how good or intelligent you are yeah you play five games Suckers know the entire bloodline of you, my guy. Like, that's how it works, bro. This algorithm is crazy as hell. It knows everything on you, okay? Uh, so, yeah, some people that are like, Hey, man, I need skill-based matchmaking. I require skill-based matchmaking. Bro, thank again, bro. Because you can learn the game and get better. It's like going to the gym, right? The better you get at the gym the better your performance uh, will be you're gonna look better you're gonna be sharp you're gonna you're gonna be actually bodying everybody not everybody but like see you're gonna be better with skill based matching and it's a complete opposite the better you get that uh, you the better the better you get at the game the worse you're gonna perform do you really want that come on man because in the beginning okay like skill based matching is gonna help you and next define does that they have skill based matching in for the the first timers uh, for a certain rank i believe it's still like rank 15 or 25 correct me if i'm wrong but after that no skill based matching and i feel like that dash the, and, and we used to have boot camps in call of duty back in the days you remember Bruh. you remember that you re yeah right like we ha used to have that back in the days but they got rid of them to watch the franchise decline, i.e. the golden age of COD? Well, it's going to be by adjusting their matchmaking and publicly advertising it. How else would they take back players that went to X Defiant strictly because of the lack of skill-based matchmaking? They have to do something, somehow, with their matchmaking to make it appealing enough to the players that were aggravated with it before. In yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. I think there is absolutely no world where COD doesn't announce something or make something big about the matchmaking changing somehow. Think about it. If they don't, they're just shooting themselves in the foot. They're allowing X Defiant to steal so many players because of the vast difference in the matchmaking. Again, I just see no world where nothing changes at all. They would just be allowing the loss of unfathomable amounts of money on players not dropping $70 in the game in the first place. Now, yeah, even with yeah, my yeah, logic, yeah. with no real evidence that they're actually considering backing this up, we actually have gotten some alleged leaks that they are considering changing uh -oh. how the matchmaking works. Now, they are alleged because I can't seem to find any of it, and it seems to be this weird word of mouth information going around the community, but somewhere there have been alleged leaks that changes will happen. Now the key word is again, alleged. It's not guaranteed and you shouldn't get your hopes up. Heck, even if they say that they toned it way down, don't pre-order the game. Wait until it's out and read the dang reviews. And then if it's actually as good as X Defiance matchmaking, then you buy it. Despite there only being rumors though, it only seems logical that since Black Ops 6 clearly changed from the original name, Black Ops Gulf War, to mm -hmm. continuing the numbering in the Black Ops series and adding the classic black and orange aesthetic and time the tease or an announcement to directly interfere with the hype yeah th they did it the day after <laughs> x defy crazy man coincidence i think not but i feel like that deep down they they were already planning to reveal the game by the end of may right that's what we were hearing so i think they did it a little bit like faster on the dot just a day after x defined but i think they were still planning to do it regardless like maybe they were supposed to do it like three four days after but they were like okay let's do it a little bit early because we gotta steal x defiant thunder you know surrounding x defiant's release they're clearly trying to compete with x defiant and snuff them out as competition and then mm, I, I don't know about it i don't know maybe they are but but you got uh, if i was activision like x defiant is 
like a new kid on the block, right? Call of Duty got COD Mobile, they got a history of uh, $70, $60, oh, I'm talking about like the, the, the standard Call of Duty titles, like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, you know, the, uh, yeah, all the Call of Duty games, the standard releases, Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty Warzone as well, right? Yeah, I, I, if I was Activision, I wouldn't be scared. I don't think they're scared of X Define. I don't think so. Uh, a little bit maybe, but I don't think they are. I don't think they are, to be honest. But they surely don't want people playing X Define because if people are playing X Define, that means those people are not playing Call of Duty. Th yeah, surely no company would ever want that. Because, yeah, if you're not playing Call of Duty, what are you playing? And if you're playing X Define, you sure as hell not playing Call of Duty. And that's a problem for them. Because if you're not playing Call of Duty, you're not buying the bundles. You're the not next buying the logical bundles. step is to do what your competition does, but better. X Defiant has better matchmaking. So what is COD mm -hmm. going to do about that? Well, it only seems logical that they're going to somehow change it. It also Hopefully. seems to line up with potential rumors as well. And those two things going hand in hand create a decently logical case not to mention that the skill white paper for call of duty's matchmaking is coming out and they have a chance to display what they're changing for the upcoming game rather than trying to gaslight us into thinking the atrocious system that they have now is actually yeah. good i just think it's pretty convenient timing to talk about the skill measurement in their eumm once they already plan on making is that really real well we gotta uh, we gotta find out soon guys but check out this video on the screen because apparently this man ended up getting banned by Activision from their events. He's blacklisted. You want to know the reason? The reason is going to shock you, okay? Check this video out. If you, then, if you already have seen it, then check out the video on the left.